the getting started with Oracle JDBC and Oracle database. In this video, we will show you how to quickly set up your Java program to connect to the Oracle database on cloud or on-premise using the latest Oracle JDBC driver. First, the prerequisites. You should have provisioned an Oracle database cloud service or have an Oracle database installed. Second step is to make sure that you have JDK 9 or JDK 8 running on your machine. Third step is to download the Oracle JDBC Thin Driver OJDBC8.jar and the Universal Connection Pool UCP.jar from OTN. After the prerequisites, get the sample code UCPSample.java from GitHub. If you want to use only the JDBC driver, you can use datasourcesample.java. Once you have the sample code, update the database credentials to point to the Oracle database that you have access to. Make sure to update the database URL with the host name, port number, and the service name of your database. Provide the required database user and password. The last step is to compile and run the Java program. Let's begin with opening the browser and going to oracle.com slash jdbc. This is the JDBC landing page. We want you to bookmark this page because this is a great place for the latest news, downloads, and white papers, and presentations, and many more about the Oracle JDBC driver. Once you are here, click on the Downloads tab and download the latest JDBC driver. The latest JDBC driver is 12201. Accept the license agreement and download OJDBC8.jar and ucp.jar. We recommend you to download ucp.jar, which is the universal connection pool that helps achieve performance, scalability, and high availability for Java applications. Next, go to github.com slash oracle slash oracle db examples. Navigate to Java, JDBC, connection samples, and ucpsample.java. Once you download this ucpsample.java, update the, sample, the URL with the host name, port number, and the service name to point to the database that you have access to. Also, update the username and password. In this sample, we will get a connection to the database and we will perform some database operations after getting a connection to the database. We are going to create a table and we will insert two records into the table and we will also update a record. Now, create a new directory getting started and copy ucpsample.java onto this folder. Also, copy ojdbc8.jar and ucp.jar onto the lib directory. Now, compile the ucpsample.java and run ucpsample. You can see that we have successfully established a connection to the database and also performed some database operations. Thank you for watching the video.